Hello and welcome to round one of the race department's V8 series. We're here at Bahrain on the V8 circuit of it. Let me take you for a run through of the grid. Mike Simeon's on pole with Gregory de Grief alongside. Ben Buchendijk in third with Lee Ross in fourth. Tal Vite and James Johnson round out the top six. Here we are. The lights are on and we're ready to go. And we are racing here for race department V8 series and that is Mr. Lennon getting onto a beauty of a start there down the outside of several cars looks like he's worked himself up into sixth position at the moment as they break for this hairpin turn one but that looks like a few people have decided to get back past again so poor Gary Lennon's going to have to try and get his places back through and oh that's a very very um, wide berth there as he tries to get round Callan very tight and twisty and there's plenty of room here to try and get yourself back round and sling the shot round. I like to call it the switcheroo, but uh, Gary Lennon off to a very decent start in steed. And here we are with Ryan Callan and Lee Ross here, the battle for fifth and sixth position. Callan looks like he's setting himself up for a dive down the inside, and he certainly has done it, but that looks like uh, Lee Ross is going to try and hold on around the outside, but Callan's got the outside line for the next corner, which could prove him at a disadvantage. And that is Lee definitely holding the line. If he's careful, he'll push himself through there. This is a transfer in 15th position. And he looks like he's sizing up one or two guys all together there. There's a, there's a big battle going on ahead. Oh, but there's contact between the two. And that looks like Trent is going to have a go through. And that's one. And that's two. Double move there by Trent. Oh, or is it? Because the number 12 car looks like it's going to hold itself around the outside there. And uh, well done for that. Comes to field streaming through after lap one. Here we are, watching Mr. Shaw. Adam Shaw dives through, and that's someone taking not quite the perfect line. That's another car not taking quite the perfect line. That's the eight car spinning round. That looks like Rich Tranter has completely done the dodgy there, and that's him down the back of the order. Not a good start there for Rich Tranter. But here comes someone to take the position away from. Mr. Shaw, Adam Shaw goes back down the order. It's a valiant effort nonetheless. It's Ryan Callan, what's he up to now? This is on uh, Talvite, Tony Talvite, fourth and fifth position. It looks like the same old move, but is it going to work this time? Talvite is leaning on Callan ever so slightly there, and uh, he keeps the line, but Callan doesn't look like he's going to give up as we move forward to lap three and that is a nice train there behind uh, Tony Talbote as uh, Callan looks like he's going to have a go because Talbote completely outbreaking himself and that looks like uh, Lee Ross is going to have a go for him as well. Oh, Talbote completely missing his braking opportunity, far too excited there and that lets Lee Ross and another car through as well. Here's Hanu Carasola in 10th position. He looks like he's sizing up a certain car. And that may be pretend I am not 100% sure. He isn't one of the Jack Daniel cars though. But that's Carasola through and well into the top 10. Lap 5 of Race Apartment V8 Series at Bahrain. And here is Lee Ross and Ryan Callan at it again. This looks like Lee Ross is going to try and dive through the inside into turn 1. It's such a great place for overtaking. But uh, Callan there is once again holding his nose round the outside and he's kept it for that bit of leaning going on and that's someone else joining the party behind there. Someone should tell him that three's a crowd but Callanan this looks like he's gonna have another go back through. Oh and that's Lee Ross taking a very wide line and you will be punished all the way down the home straight for doing that and that could leave Lee Ross under attack from not just Callan who looks like he's gonna find himself back into that fifth position but also the car behind is looking at the two of them we're going go off go off crash 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 <laughs> and then he can have both places what's this is that lee trying to go around the outside indeed he does what a fantastic move there and uh, ryan cannon looks like he's going to do the switcheroo back through into turn four there side by side very clean racing by the pair of them you can really use these cars as a little bit of a bully brute if you want to but Callan and uh, Lee Ross there making sure that they keep each other at bay. But they've got to be careful because that is the third car behind them. I'm not 100% sure who it is at the moment, but he's looking very, very handy indeed. Here we are 
flash forward again. Hello. I think that's Mr. Ross just letting him know that he's going to have a go down the inside onto lap seven. Very handy indeed. Callan locks his brakes. Fantastic move there. But Callan's got to be very, very defensive now because he's got... Well, he's in a bit of a sandwich. Just here we go to lap eight. And this is the Ross and Ryan Callan again. These two at it, hammer and tongs. Oh, that's a very messy move there by Callan. And that looks like the... Uh, number one car is of uh, James Johnson it is I've just discovered and he's having to go down the outside as well you're gonna have struggles to get through there because it'll just cut off the line but very oh James Johnson they're having to go very very evasive to make sure that Callan didn't sideswipe a little bit here elsewhere in the field here is uh, Ben Crooks he's heaven knows that plenty of smoke up ahead someone's doing the dodgy and uh, oh one car two cars off and away. <laughs> Synchronised pirouetting there out of the final corner. It's much tougher than you think. But that has done uh, Ben Crook's racing position no end of good. He's got two cars behind him there who are looking like they're going to have their own little battle. And one of them is Neil Galt for Spring Car Racing. He looks like he wants that position back. Oh, just about missing the edge there. Oh, but slinky, slinky through there. That was a bit of a tank slapper going on for poor old... Uh, Oh, but your fences are no back, those back through there, the 33 car of uh, Foster having a little nose, or Cook, sorry, having a little nose through. Here we are on lap 11, it looks like the same thing going on. Crooks holding off the position. Don't get tanks like it going on, and here we are back with Neil Gold again. It looks like it's revenge on lap 13. Oh, that's a little bit naughty. Um, and someone's going to have to play paint the car after that one. Here we are up front, though. We've barely seen them. Mike Simeon and Gregory De Grief. And this looks like De Grief is going to fancy a nose down into turn one. And this is for the lead. And he's done it. He's lent on the car ever so slightly, but he's got the position covered the line for defensiveness. And he's free back through. But Mike Simeon fancies a nose back through into turn four. Oh, that is what I call optimistic overtaking, but um, a little bit naughty. However, he did not keep the position. And here is James Johnson, and that looks like he's having a go at Lee Ross. But Lee Ross holds the line and pushes him a little bit wide, but that keeps James Johnson on the inside line. But, oh no, time for the switcheroo, but it's not worked. And that is the gravel, my friend, Lee, and that is not the best place for traction, and that is Talpite. Tony Talbot is going to have a nose back through again. And, uh, well, Ben, uh, not Ben Ross, sorry, Lee Ross, loses two positions and two corners. And that is not very good. Here is Gary Lennon. Um, and don't know what's happened to Ryan Callan, but eighth position is not where he wants to be. And that is Gary Lennon being quickly disposed of it. And however, if he wants to, he can try and get in the slipstream down the straight and see if he can do another switcheroo back through again. Here is Ben Pretendike, and that is a sister car that he looks like he's about to be disposing of. That should be uh, Evo Simmons. All going well, it certainly is. Here's Daniel Higgins and Mr. Mealord. Ooh, candy from a baby. Or is it? No! Mr. Switcheroo makes an appearance again. But that's a bit wide, my friend, and I think. Mr. Mealord's going to have his way back through again. Position. That final corner, you can go for all kinds of things. It looks like Mealord's set himself up for another dive back through again. He certainly is. That is textbook overtaking there by Mealord. Oh! bit of unfriendly bashing going on behind there. Well, you'd almost be forgiven that this is a contact ball. James Johnson finds himself in third position at the moment and that car in the lead of uh, Mike looking very worse for wear with his front bumper but James Johnson looks like he's pushed through into second position. Oh, Party racing there. And here's Gregory to grief. Why is he in seventh? I have no idea. He must have had a bit of a bad day. But that is him leaning on Ryan Callan. Callan, ooh, a little bit in the air there. You don't want to have that into grief. All over the place, he's lost control of that. 
that was one wiggle wiggle but he's still got the position off of Ryan Callan however leany leany driving into the corner that you could call it but that is still a pass for position here is Adam Shaw last lap last corner and here he goes about to fly through and that is someone going very very slowly ahead is that Telfite I think has run out of fuel or something he's gone to defend oh right into the pit wall there oh someone's gonna have a headache but here is the winner Mike Simeon wins race department's V8 series round one at Bahrain thank you very much for watching see you for round two